This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Philippines Uncut. I'm your host, Buddy Konana. Now, on this show, we talk about everything in the sun, and tonight is once again about food. You know, folks, last week we had uh, Kapampangan Cuisine here on the show. We had two chefs come over and do a little demonstration, and we had so much fun that tonight I decided to take us further afield to the sunny Mediterranean, to Greece and Turkey uh, for another food trip. Unfortunately, we cannot go there physically, but I've done the next, next best thing by bringing a couple here, Greek, Turkish couple, who own a very uh, a fabulous restaurant called Ble and they'll walk us through the wonders of Greek and Turkish cuisine. So joining us in the studio is Yanis Tripolis and Aisha Tripolis, Tripolis, and they are the owners of Ble. Welcome, guys. Good evening. And, uh, you know, I'm um, very excited to have you here. And, uh, you know, I've, I've known uh, you know, Aisha a long time in social media, and so because of her, I found <laughs> out that you guys have this wonderful restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and I understand you guys have been doing well, and you know, congratulations. And Thanks. really, it's an honor for, you, for me to have you guys here. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about you guys first, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's have uh, some short introductions, starting <coughs> with ladies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ladies first. <laughs> uh, well, I'm from Turkey. Uh, I came here as a trading wife. I, I started my professional life as an architect. I studied architecture in Turkey, but, but I was always enthusiastic about you know, cooking and kitchen. Uh, eventually, this, this led me to study culinary here in the Philippines. Meanwhile, we opened our restaurant. When my husband decided to quit the corporate life, we opened our uh, restaurant and catering business. Here we are. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. Bravo. I have two kids, so <coughs> hardworking mom. Bravo. Yanis? Hi. Uh, actually, I was in maritime sector, and uh, I had a corporate career for 23 years, I more or less. Then my company posted me here in 2008. So we came with I say we came together. We lived here until 2010. We returned back to Greece. 
stayed for a year, then I smelled the crisis and we, I had an offer and returned back. By 2013, I decided that corporate world is a kind of too harsh for me. We discussed and we decided to move with the culinary world. Wow, wow. So you guys coming from really different backgrounds, corporate, yeah. architecture, yeah. and coming together and then deciding to open a, a, a Mediterranean restaurant here, right here in the Philippines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> Bravo. A bit controversial, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But we like the place, we like the country. What do you like most about the Philippines? People. They, it's very similar to us. People are warm, they are smiling, they get over problems, they continue with their lives no matter what happens in their lives. So we like that. It's also the weather is friendly. So, okay, we decided to stay. Like really, the sunny Mediterranean, you know, I like to say that the, pe the closer people get to the Mediterranean, the more cheerful they are, mm -hmm. the yeah. happier they are because of, of the weather. You know? Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. And it really has a, a big influence on, 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 on food. But, but you guys obviously uh, have been passionate about food mm -hmm. your whole Always. lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like really just getting into your true calling. Kind of the <laughs> I guess so, yes, yeah. I guess so. I guess we needed, uh, we needed the opportunity, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it would be a loop. I mean, if he continued in the corporate, maybe we would be going to another country. I would still be a trailing wife, looking for my destiny. But so. is having a restaurant something you always wanted to do? Mm, not really, but I discovered that, yes, it was something. Like that every I two years, no? Uh, yes. We always <laughs> <laughs> let's do something, let's do something. Wonderful. And eventually it came up, and it came up well. So we are very happy about now, it. Aisha uh, went to culinary school here, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but did you go to formal training as well? Formal as training, not really. I am homeschooled, let's <laughs> say. I, because my mother was a housewife, so I learned and grabbed the basic stuff about that. And, and then I discovered that I had a talent into cooking. So very, very often I was cooking home, friends were coming, I was giving dinners and so on. Eventually I used it professionally. <laughs> So, so far, so good. Very nice. Now, it's, um, it's, it's food. It's the whole food tradition, mm -hmm. like with families, and you get together, and the family cooks as an activity. Is that big in Turkey and Greece? Yes. Of course. Yes. In very, very important. Because here in the Philippines, in some areas, like in Pampanga, which uh, my guest last week, they, they, they said the same thing. Like in their, in their province, it's such a big thing that the family gets together, and they cook mm -hmm. together, and because of that, everyone enjoys good food. Everyone mm -hmm. knows how to cook yeah. mm -hmm. food. It's the same also. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Turks, uh, well, you have been to Turkey many times. We have many restaurants, but dining out is not a real part of a typical Turkish family. It's like we really dine out maybe twice a month. That's about it. We really cook every day. And if it's a typical Turkish mother, housewife, she cooks, she tries to cook two different meals a day. It's, it's very essential part of our culture. Yeah. And we really take great pride on our food. So uh, Turkish people and Greek people mm -hmm. uh, are, are very similar now because it's only really, uh, you, you, you two are very close to each other mm -hmm. with only the Aegean separating you. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So uh, are there any differences? I mean, uh, I mean, obviously the cultures are very similar, but, yeah. but any differences that make it make Greeks distinct from, from Turkish people? Religion and language. I think the, this is the only thing. Um, the, the point of view in so many things is so similar that it's strange. I mean. and, and the cuisine is also very, very similar. similar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because also the ingredients you have, right? Mm -hmm. Use of olive mm -hmm. oil, a lot of uh, you know spices, and yeah. you're, you're essentially in the same in the same area. Mm -hmm. That's how actually I kind of had the courage to have a word about Greek cuisine because I already knew <coughs> it by heart because it's the same cuisine but I, I still ask him some details like uh, it has really really minor differences on usage of spice like their most popular spice is oregano we like our mint this this but most of the techniques or like they like to use their ovens we use stove top but the ingredients and the combinations are the Essentially same. Essentially the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of lamb, a lot mm -hmm. of beef, yeah, and yeah. a lot of seafood as well, no? Very Our much. Our seafood is a little weaker than theirs, but, <laughs> but, but, but we compensate with kebabs. Okay. <laughs> also kebabs are all. How about metze? Metze, yes, metze. small yeah. plates, but See, they are better in that, yes, I, have I have to, to admit. The, yeah. the Turkish metze, wow. Incredible number of dishes. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Okay, uh, before I jump into the restaurant, is there anything that we miss from home? And I mean uh, from Greece or from Turkey? Anything you miss being uh, here? It's good that we have each other, actually, because we kind of support each other into that. 
sometimes certain places, certain foods that you cannot find here or we cannot recreate here. Yeah. These kinds of stuff. And of course, our families. Of course, of course. Now, let's talk about your restaurant. Interesting name, Ble. Ble. Did I say it correctly? Ble. Yeah. Ble, right. Now, please explain to us the, the, the unique, this very unique name. Where did it come from? What does it mean? Ble is the sound of the word blue in Greek. Ble is the blue color. It's our national color, blue and white. So and we, your flag is really yeah, yeah, blue and white. white yeah. So that's why we chose it, to represent the blue of Greece. And it's kind of controversial, yes, because some people didn't understand it, but it worked for us because it creates an interest and people are asking and they are learning. Yes, it's, it's very unique. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, it's, it's an interesting name because when you first hear it, it sounds like, uh, you know, it doesn't sound, it sounds like a, a sound Something one makes. Something you don't want about food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it doesn't sound too uh, favorable, but yeah. uh, it, it, it's nice, it's cool. It, 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 good name recall. Mm -hmm. People will forget you're very easy to, to say, very easy to remember. Yeah. Now, um, where is it located and, and, and how long we you have been now uh, two uh, branches in BF Homes in Paranaque, one on Aguirre and one on El Grande Avenue. And we are looking forward to expand very soon in Makati area. We are actually at this point actively looking for a place. So we're, we'll soon be able to enjoy the wonderful food of Ble. Hopefully. Definitely. Right here in, in, in Manila and in, in Makati. Now, um, I know we have some photos of your cuisine mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. perhaps you could uh, you know, explain to us what we're seeing mm -hmm. on, on the screen. Mm -hmm. Sorry with this. Okay. Okay. This is the Greek salad. The famous Greek salad. Famous <laughs> Greek salad. Uh, tomato, cucumber, onions, olives and Capers. Greek feta cheese. This is a pizza. No, no, this is also a salad, a salad. Oh, but a salad. It, okay. it is on a <laughs> rusk, dry rye bread, and then it's topped with olive oil, and on top of it we put ground tomato, uh, feta cheese, oregano, Lovely. olive oil again, and one olive. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. What is this? This is uh, baklava, no? This yeah. is a specialist. Yeah. She oh, should say okay. about that. <laughs> what is baklava? This is like one of the only two items that is uh, unique to Turkey, like this, we, we, this is not Greek baklava because Greeks use uh, ready pasta flow. This one we make by hand. This is it's Turkish time. And, and you make this in your restaurant? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is a wow. menu item available every day. Wow, and do you, make, uh, you make this yourself, this baklava? Well, I taught my employees now. <laughs> <laughs> More salads. It looks like you guys are heavy into salads. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, flavors of the Mediterranean, really. Oh, look yeah. at this. This is a kebab with this is yogurt. This is a kebab with yogurt and tomato sauce. It's like a sauce. different kind of kebab. It looks like a deconstructed kebab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of. Why is that? <laughs> right? Why is that? This is a Greek version. Ah, okay. This, this may look like the iskender <laughs> we have in Turkey, yeah. but this is a really Greek version. So it looks like your food is really, you know, it, it, it looks different in the sense that perhaps this is the way Greek food really looks like mm -hmm. in Greece. Or yeah, or exactly. Yeah. It, it's exactly like that. These are some of our kebabs. Uh, skewers. Chicken, nice. chicken, lamb, beef, everything. Greek Again, salad Greek salad. Again. Yes. More Greek salad. Okay. Now, guys, <coughs> there are a lot of restaurants in, in Manila. There are several Greek restaurants, Mediterranean mm -hmm. restaurants, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, quite popular. Mm -hmm. What makes uh, Ble different? Couple of things. Uh, we try to follow the traditional recipes. My the recipes we use are my mother's recipes. Uh, wow. which were her mother's, her mother's, it's like 80, 90 years old recipe. Wow. We don't uh, compromise the recipe to satisfy palates. It is the real thing. Whatever my mother would cook if she was here with the ingredients she can find, it is the same thing exactly. So we haven't fusioned or Filipinized, as some people call it, our kitchen. And the big difference is it's totally non-industrialized and everything awesome. we make from scratch, literally from scratch. Yogurt, really? pita bread, yes. everything, is yogurt. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. everything is from scratch. <laughs> wow. Yes, yes. That's amazing. That mm -hmm. is amazing. We don't use uh, cubes, powders. No MSG, MSG stuff like that. We don't even use microwave. Good, good. Yeah. Because I'm actually a, a, big, uh, a big advocate of uh, not yeah. using microwave. Same we don't, we don't. Yeah, we yeah. don't. Yeah. Now, is your cook, I mean, if you go to your restaurant, how, how long do you have to wait for a meal? Depends on the dish, but usually 15 minutes to 20. Because, yes, as you, right that you mentioned it, mm. we cook everything on order. There's nothing yeah. ready. Wow. You order and we cook it. 
Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, um, <clears throat> okay, I'm sure you guys have seen the lay of the land, uh, the cuisine mm -hmm. here in, in, in Manila. And mm -hmm. there are, as I mentioned, there are some Mediterranean restaurants yeah. serving food. And what is your take on, 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 on what, what, what we commonly find out there? Because you like to position yourselves mm -hmm. like, as like the real, authentic I agree, uh, Greek, yes. uh, Greek Mediterranean mm -hmm. restaurant. Now, the ones we have currently like in the market, would you say these are more like uh, fusion already? Or yes, I think something? so. Quality-wise, whatever I have tried, uh, it's okay. But it's not the real deal in this manner. I mean, it's nice food, nice to eat. It's not Greek. It's fusion. It's <laughs> Like that. I think the difference is like uh, when we cannot uh, reach an ingredient, the necessary ingredient, we just don't make that dish. Yeah. We don't compromise it with whatever is available. We just don't put it in the menu. Yes. Like, yes. Always keep it for a week until we find, until we find the supplies. So it really, is a, it really is an art for you guys. It is fashion. I mean, it, you it know, is. To, to make everything from hand by hand, mm -hmm. yeah. from scratch. I said, yeah. you can make your own yogurt. You don't go to the supermarket and you get yogurt off the shelf no. and use that. Yeah, we, we really like what we do, and uh, our our well, my personal motto is, I will not serve anything. I will not feed my children. Exactly. Now, how are Filipinos? Uh, what is the reception of Filipinos to your restaurant? Do they like the food? I mean, of course, you, you guys are doing well. Um, but but like, what is the most popular dish on the menu with Pinoy's? We have souvlaki. Souvlaki mostly, and moussaka. Moussaka is. Uh, lay, like layers of vegetables topped with bechamel sauce and cheese. And we also have the souvlaki's uh, wrap in pita bread and inside it has a kebab and salad and tzatziki sauce. Wow. And these are very, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. these are very, yeah. very popular. Just hearing him say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very popular. And so Pinoy school for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot, a lot. You know, it's a pity that I'm glad you guys are opening in Makati. And please, you must let us know when you guys are going to open so we can, yeah. we can promote it. But, we, we. you know, it's, it's a shame that you guys are way out there in the south. Now, how is it in the south? Because I understand in where you are now, mm -hmm. which is the BF Homes, Paranaque area, that there are a lot of, it's, it's coming up. As yeah. like a yeah. culinary, like a suburb, like a satellite yeah. you know, yeah. center. Yeah. You know? yeah. A lot it's of exciting a places. Scene, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, it, well, uh, how to say it? Uh, well, it has been risky, of course, because it's a very uh, local district. Sure, sure. Because when you have a restaurant, uh, I think expats residing in Manila is a part of your clientele, important part, and they are very few in the south. However, I think it has been well. It, like, it is doing well. I mean, we have people we who really are... We really didn't see much resistance against our original food. Like, a few people asked for soy sauce, but... Really? <laughs> You're yeah. joking. It has come. Definitely a local right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, we, we really keep our soy stand. Sauce. Like, uh, we, we don't do all the traditional things. I'm not saying it that those are necessarily bad, but they are not just part of our cuisine, and we don't do that. Well, I'm glad you guys okay. had soy sauce huh? lying around. Maybe it's one of the staff. Yeah, staff, staff meal, yes. <laughs> Did we give it? We should we have given it. it. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, of course, you got to accommodate. Uh, I mean, uh, bravo for being so hospitable. Well, okay, we are trying. So we we always try, know. but, uh, but we, don't, we don't. I mean, uh, we draw the line between hospitality and compromise. Sure, sure. Uh, I mean, things could have been easier if we, uh, if we put more sugar in things, maybe. But we don't. <laughs> <laughs> because Filipinos do have a yeah, sweet tooth. And yeah, yeah but we don't. We keep the spice as it is. We keep the salt as, as it is. Whatever we eat in our homes. And it is going okay. I think I think we are bringing what, what our clients deserve. Excellent. And you know, in a few moments, we have to pause our break. But when we come back, we're going to have a little cooking uh, demonstration. demonstration. First, Greece. Yeah. And then, then move yeah. across Aegean to Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Bravo, guys. So Thank stick you. around, guys, because more of Greeks and Turkey when Philippines Uncut returns.